Welcome back everybody. Today we're posting this video a little late. It's kind of a last minute video, but I've been wanting to get it out. It's been raining here in Florida, so I haven't been able to get any good content outside. But what I'm standing in used to be our airplane room uh, for the hobby shop, but we have since kind of closing the hobby shop down. It's just not staying as busy as I'd like it to give me the return on investment that I need. So what you see behind me, I have moved all of my merch. I know we don't have a lot, but we've got a little bit from my house up here into this room. And this is like, we've just moved everything in here today. So we've got some empty boxes here and things like that. But I wanted to kind of give myself a shout out, you guys. Uh, we've got our Tratter Taxi t-shirts. Everything is on the website, brucewilsonshop.com. We put a lot of time and effort in these things and I think they turned out absolutely amazing. There you go, everybody can see those. I'll put it right here back for Amber, my wife, to fold. <laughs> and then we've got our Will It Start shirts with the Iron Giant on here. Even though it's gone, that is still an awesome looking shirt. I love that picture that we took when we first got it. So we're getting all set up. We are a couple weeks behind on getting stuff shipped out. But I promise you guys we're gonna have this stuff rolling out the door tomorrow and coming to you guys. Our shipping only takes like two to three days to get to you. We ship through the United States Postal Service, the post office. So we have still have a uh, few uh, blue collar sh uh, trucking shirts and the cab over shirts over there. And we've got all of our Will It Start key tags. So go to brucewilsonshop.com, guys, grab your stuff. This is the stuff that helps us with our day-to-day -day, um, operations as far as making videos and bringing to you guys the coolest content. And over here we've got, what we do is we throw in random old hats. We've got some after hours hats, some random hats that we get sent by our sponsors and stuff like that. Those go in, in every other order. And I've also got some uh, of these really cool old white semi-truck. These are like a model kits. Um, that I'm going to be throwing in some orders and pumping those out the door. So go to roostonshop.com, grab your merch, guys. Let's jump into today's video. I finally have a shelf to put all of my parts. So as you guys know, I've been telling you we've been gathering parts for certain projects, and that's what this shelf right here basically is. And shout out to everyone that got entered to win the uh, JB Jump Box from Start All. And with Good All, we're going to be shipping that out in the next couple of days and announcing the winner on that. We're going to be announcing a new giveaway probably in the next couple of days. Also, but this is like our part shelf where we've got parts for like the uh, uh, the flat, the flatty, flat, nasty little burnout truck. We've got turbo, the big water to air intercooler, all kinds of cool parts. Um, the Lincoln, we've got the airbag kit, all kinds of stuff right here that we're getting ready and prepared to uh, start working on these projects real heavy. But the main point of today's video is I ordered a brand new 389. I'm going to tell you why. Let's go to my desk. So we're going to jump into this. Um, a lot of you do not know, if you are a Peterbilt enthusiast, things like that, that the Peterbilt 389 is done after the year of manufacturing in 2023. So I thought with that being said, I should invest in buying another truck just to have like one of the last Peterbilt 389s to ever be built. Because we've got our 2022, the Tratter Taxi, and I want to start a new video series. I'm not going to be releasing any details on that until the first of the next year when we get this new truck. Um, but I wanted to have one of the last of the 389s. Um, there are rumors and I have been told, we'll be doing a video on this at a later date, of the replacement of this truck. It's not going to be the legacy, the classic long nose Pete anymore. Um, that's going to be replaced with a truck called the 589. Yes, you heard that right, 589 will be the replacement for this truck. So I've got the spec sheet here where we ordered this thing and I want to go over that with you guys. And I've got a truck pulled up here, I'll throw it up on the uh, actual screen here you guys can see it but this is very similar to what we're ordering the new truck will be painted the exact same color plenty of fish in the sea blue it will have the blue legendary frame paint it will be on 24 fives also but it will be a flat top so let's jump into the spec sheet and see what this truck has to offer that we've ordered so i printed out the spec sheet i want to go over with you guys this is straight from fitzgerald peterbilt of bristol um, in Virginia. So we've got a 389 that's ordered, obviously, 2023, 12,000 pound front axle, 40K rears, and it's 235 inches, which is much shorter than the 295 inch wheelbase that's on the Trader Taxi Outback. We've got the basic 389 package there. We're going with 10 and 3 quarter inch steel rails, but here's the kicker we've got a inner liner, which means we have a double walled frame. So we have a double framed truck, very, very strong, strong truck there. Um, the rest of the stuff is kind of just basic things right here. Aluminum cross member is pretty standard. Um, nothing crazy there. Old cheap mud flaps, we'll be getting rid of those babies. They'll be gone. 
uh, of course with those quarter fenders those would be gone but here's another kicker so i didn't order it with the aluminum fifth wheel i ordered it with the uh, regular old steel top plate holland fifth wheel so no aluminum to worry about if we're going to be hooking to different trailers doing all kinds of fun stuff there they have a little bit longer slide a 30 inch slide the slide on the uh, Tratter Taxi is 24 inches there. We do have a little bit of a drop axle on the front end, nothing too crazy. Uh, and you can see all the leaf ratings right here on the front end. Aluminum hub, it's more pretty standard stuff there. Um, what else we got going on here? Aluminum hubs because we've got the uh, disc brakes all the way around on this baby. We are putting 355 rear gears in it. We have 336s in the 389, so that's gonna be another uh, major difference there in disc brakes all the way around front and rear axle. Next up, we've got low leaf rear suspension, dash mounted dump switch. So we can dump the rear just like the Trader Taxi's got. 605 horse spurs and 1950 foot pounds of torque. Uh, engine going in there with the X15 Cummins, all kinds of cool information there. None of that, I guess, really doesn't matter um, for what I'm showing you guys here. Uh, we've got a remote PTO and throttle plug there so we can put a PTO on the truck because I do plan on possibly putting a wet kit on it. Uh, pretty standard stuff here, starter. We've got a battery disconnect. We've got two-speed fan for frequent start and stops. Uh, air, all this stuff's pretty standard stuff, but I want you guys to kind of see what goes into specking out a Cummins, or I'm sorry, a, a Peterbilt, and all the different things you can get. Pretty crazy, all the different items. We're only on page seven now. Dual 15-inch painted air cleaner, so the old school, like 359 air cleaners are going on the front of that baby. These things are gonna be sick. Um, the stainless caps, just like what's on there, to keep rain from going down inside there. Big difference. Big, big difference on this truck is the exhaust, the dual stacks coming out the top, baby. Big difference. Let's see if we can pull up something on my iPad here. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this truck right here midway through. This is extremely similar to what I'm specking out. This is a truck um, from Fitzgerald's stuff several years ago. Uh, let's go back here just a little bit. So this one has got the same breathers we're going to be putting on our truck right there. Same rain caps right there. Um, it does have dual stacks on it, obviously. So that's the first things you can kind of see right there. They're going to be similar to what we're got, we've got going on. Um, I'm not going to be doing full fiberglass fenders on this, so those aren't the same. The biggest similarity on this truck compared to the one we've got on order is going to be, obviously, it's got low leaf air on it. Um, they did a sick job on this truck. There is no doubt about it. It's got a steel fifth wheel. We're, not, we're doing a steel fifth wheel instead of the aluminum very similar deck plate stuff we're going to be doing here on the new truck um, obviously we'll be doing a shock box some other stuff but the biggest thing about this truck is the def tank right is mounted further back here and this truck has a wet kit on it also so that tank right there is going to be for like the wet kit on it and then you're going to have a fuel tank separate so a couple of little kickers right there you can kind of see the difference um, this truck right here and i was explaining about having fake stacks on my truck so by having active stacks like this one's got you've got this big box right here that um, is where your dpf and catalytic converter and all that good stuff is behind this box so that's the big difference on my truck which has an old school style toolbox on it and this big box right there which is what be on the truck we've got ordered really nice stainless and chrome stuff there from 12 gauge customs but yeah look at those same canisters there we're going to be doing look at that thing they did a really nice job on this truck holy crap biggest thing flat top baby we're going with a flat top sleeper flat low roof uh, on the cab and a 44 inch like basically coffin sleeper i was going to go with a day cab but brian tommy's like you got to have some kind of a sleeper to throw all your luggage and stuff like that because you are going to stay in it every now and then um Wow, they did a really sweet job on this video. I want to play the music, but it's like monetized rock. Is that a young Tommy? <laughs> oh boy, let's catch him again. Yep, that's Tommy. <laughs> yep, a young Tom. <laughs> X15. Such a great looking engine. That thing works so good. We definitely need to brew some breather, breather lights like that on my truck. 
So there it is. This is what our truck's going to look really similar to, the shorter wheelbase. I do plan on putting a headache rack on it, but all that stuff's to come first quarter of next year. So super pumped about that. Look at these scallywags here. <laughs> oh, so this one does have that cool touchscreen radio in it. We're not doing that on the new truck. Uh, the new truck will have a full gauge package, but we'll get into that more into the spec sheet here in just a second. But that was a really nice truck that they built. Pretty sick. All right, let's get back into the spec sheet. So doing an 18 speed transmission, the high torque, all that good stuff and that baby right there. Um, this kind of goes over how many bearings are in the rear drive line what size uh, drive shafts we're putting in here. I'm not too keen on all this stuff, but Jesse kind of explained a little bit to me. Uh, got a dash mounted PTO control. Uh, let's see, remote mounted grease fittings and stuff for the uh, clutch linkage and things like that, air dryer. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Pull cords for the air tanks to release them. Aluminum polished tanks, aluminum painted air tanks. Uh, what else we got here? Pretty standard stuff there. We are doing an 11R 24.5s, which will be a much taller rubber. Uh, I guess we can look up these these tires we're putting on here because they are some big daddy, um, really, really freaking aggressive tires that I did order on this truck. These are going to be a M799 tire. I think they're Michelin's we ordered, or maybe they're Bridgestone. So yeah, here we go. M799. Are these the front or the rears? Okay, so M799, that's the rear tire we've ordered for this truck. Kind of an aggressive rear pattern compared to like the street tire we've got on it. And then the front are gonna be a R213. I don't know how to see that. <laughs> there we go. I know they're a Bridgestone tire also. Um, yeah. So there's the front tire going on it, pretty standard. I think that's pretty much what's on the uh, Peterbilt we've got now. So we've got 11 24.5 front and rear tires. These are 44 inches tall, much taller tire than what we have on the truck now. We've got the Alcoa bullet hole style wheels on the front, so they'll have round holes instead of the Peterbilt ovals. So we like these a lot better than the ovals, stands out a little bit. Um, obviously they're a mirror polished wheel, so they're gonna look really, really sick. Aluminum wheels, all 10 of them. 26 inch tanks in diameter. Um, I really should order this thing with a, a wet kit tank. I guess that's something we put on later. I don't know if that call and ask them. 100 gallon tanks on each side. We did mount the um, def tank. So if you're looking at like the frame of the truck here, you got a tire there, tire there, and tire here. On the uh, this truck, we're gonna have the fuel tank. The fuel tanks look terrible. <laughs> it's like a funny looking potato. And then the def tank's gonna be much smaller mounted back here on the back of the truck. Um, on my 389 I've got now, the Trader Taxi, the def tank is like a 20 gallon tank mounted up here on the front side. So the tanks are gonna be the even amount of spacing forward and then we've got the def tank that'll stick back here. We'll probably end up putting a nice little cover over it. Yeah, so right there, def tank right there. Uh, 14 gallon tank is what we're putting on it. So right there's the specs on that one. Aluminum battery boxes, all that stuff's pretty standard stuff. Um, aluminum non-slip after treatment box, which is what I was showing you guys on the pasture side of that black truck on the Fitzgerald channel. Uh, the bumper, another big change. So, right, we're not putting any kind of crazy bumper on the front of this thing. The bumper that was on the front of the Peterbilt when I got it was kind of like this on the blue truck. Really crappy, just painted blue. So the new one we've got coming, let's see if we can pull it up right here on the iPad, will be really cool. 89 log truck. It's kind of like a log truck style front bumper. Uh, front end. Here we go. That one's kind of similar to it, so that one's a terrible picture though. Let's find something better. So it's going to have this massive hook in the front, so if we ever were to get stuck, that one you can't really see it either. Why can I not see the front of this truck? I know where to find it. I know exactly where to find it. Let's go to YouTube. We'll go to the Bruce Wilson YouTube channel. It's one of my old videos I did uh, years ago with Cody up there at the Fitzgerald guys. 
Now, when I went and looked at that green day cab, God, this was forever ago. When we said we were kind of shopping for a truck back then. There it is right there. So this truck that we're getting is going to be spec'd out extremely similar. I guess we'll pause the video and let these ads go away and come back. And we're back. Let's see what, gosh, look at, look at me. This beauty of a 389 Peterbilt day cab. Over their facility and talking to them about getting us a new day cab. Oop. So just imagine, right? So the new truck's going to have that kind of style fuel tank and a death tank right back here, but it's also going to have a 44 inch sleeper right back here on the back of it. So we're going to be test driving this beauty of a 380. I thought that truck was absolute god when I first saw it. Oh, here's Cody. <laughs> Look at that beer gut. Oh, there's Amber. She's looking sexy. All kinds of cool stuff in here. This was a really fun video. We toured the shop. We kind of checked everything out. Let's get to this truck. I want to. This is the front bumper that I've got coming, right? So see that bumper there? How it's kind of uh, got the angled up right there and that big front hook in the front there. So the new truck, we plan on doing all kinds of different and cool videos. We'll be able to, if we do get stuck, which we probably will, we'll be able to do something and be able to get out with that thing being right there. Um, the, headache rack this is exactly what we plan on putting on the back of this other truck more work oriented than show we hang all kinds of chains on there um, spring ride no air ride functioning stacks i'm getting excited just talking about it this truck is specced out super similar 30 inch slider there uh steel fifth wheel this is the one i should have been showing everybody from the beginning full gauge package this is so similar to the truck we're ordering but it's going to have the newer style dash in it and stuff like that um, I'm pretty sure we kind of, oop, yeah, this was a really sick picture video here. Look at that thing rolling out. I think there's something in here where we kind of like, there we go. So really similar truck, but we're going to be getting with those style stacks on it, but it's going to have a 44 inch sleeper on the front of it too. So that's going to make the biggest difference with the stuff we've got going on. Um, that I plan for next year. So that's similar what we're going to be doing, that style front bumper. Let's finish going over the spec sheet. Um, premium driver and passenger seats, got to have those for my passengers. That's a must have. Um, heated seats, because we plan on doing some all kinds of crazy stuff. Air ride passenger seat, high back passenger. This is kind of just the interior stuff. We're still doing a platinum interior, same color gray interior that's in the Tratter Taxi we've got now. Ah, ch -ch -ch wood grain dash panels, same stuff we've got in the Tratter Taxi right now. Um, uh, heated mirrors and power mirrors on that baby. All kinds of um, just driver comfort stuff right here, air horns and stuff like that. We're not going to be putting air horns on the top. It's going to be real similar to the Tratter Taxi back there. <sighs> More interior stuff. We definitely got to have some windshield wipers. So we got windshield wipers. Okay, here's our gauges. So. Transmission temp gauge, oil temperature gauge for front axle. These are for the drive axles, of course. Engine oil temp, uh, air restriction gauge for the air filters, trailer air gauge, suspension load gauge. Oh, so this is if we wanted to add this to a trailer, we could. Journal air gauge, air restrictor gauge. <laughs> More, no, that, we didn't do that one. I'm sorry, that one's zero there. Um, Air suspension gauge one, fuel filter restriction gauge. We've got that tractor brake application gauge. Uh, we do have a switch to deactivate traction control. We definitely already have that in the Tratter Taxi engine torque. There's so many really cool gauges that we're putting in this truck, like with the electronic clock, um, amp meter, all kinds of stuff in here. Boost pressure, extra rocker switches. What else we got? auxiliary light switches because we do have some of our light switches or lights on the truck hooked up into some switches now like our suspension dump and things like that <clears throat> all right let's so move on to that so we're going to talk about our paint now so we've got non-performing paint color selection so what that means since we've selected to do the uh what's it called what's this paint color called like legendary blue so legendary blue, if you do a metallic paint, Peterbilt will not warranty that paint. So that's why it says frame no warranty on the paint. So we're going to deal with it because we're going to repaint it down the road, I'm sure. 
the color we're doing on the cab is still going to be plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> All these are called non-performing paints. So even though we ordered them, they're really cool. Peterbilt does not warranty any of these. But that's the cost of really getting really cool paint jobs. So yeah, like $2,500 extra for that special paint. A lot of these numbers you guys are seeing is the cost of these things. And then we did a um, one year, 100,000 mile warranty on the truck. Then I opted to do the two year, 200,000 mile warranty, which cost us an extra $1,265. Total weight of this truck, they're giving a rough estimate with the specs we've done, 18,705 pounds. And that's pretty much it. So there you go. That's our new Peterbilt that we have ordered. I'm super pumped for it. It will be here in February or March sometime. First quarter of next year is when Tommy said I'd be getting it. Um, and what we plan on doing with that truck. So what we plan on doing with the new Pete is we're going to be starting a new video series. I'm not going to name it because I don't want anyone else jumping on it before we do. Uh, we're going to be starting a whole new video series with the new truck. The Tratter Taxi, my little brother Aaron, we're about to be putting him to work doing uh, getting his CDL driver's license and we're gonna be traveling a little bit this year and he's gonna be learning how to drive and I may be putting him in that and letting him start driving hauling loads with that for hired so that truck can make money. I want to focus all of our YouTube efforts on this brand new rig coming first of the year. Super pumped about that. But in the meantime we've got all these projects we can work on. So new Peterbilt on the way and it's gonna be fun. Well that's a wrap folks. I know it wasn't what you wanted. You wanted some action. I promise the next video we're gonna be taking the new white collar cab over go picking up a massive load of equipment we're going to be putting up here for sale at the shop but i'm super pumped about getting a new truck ordered comment down below if you guys think this is a bad idea i think it's a really good idea it's gonna be a great investment I'm super excited about it um, the hobby shop we did kind of close up so if any of you guys see anything in here we are call the hobby shops 352-567-5002 that number does not get me to answer the phone it gets my brother to answer the phone and you can talk to him about maybe getting some stuff shipped to you. What you see is what we've got. We've got a lot of parts. So we'll talk at you folks later. See ya.